Albuquerque is a turkey and he's feathered and he's fine and he wobbles and he gobbles and he's absolutely mine. Gobble, 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 get him. And he wobbles and he gobbles and he's absolutely mine. He's the best pet that you can get, better than a dog or cat. He's my Albuquerque turkey, and I'm awfully proud of that. Gobble, 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 get him. He's my Albuquerque turkey, and I'm awfully proud of that. He once told me, very frankly, he preferred to be my pet. Not the main course at my dinner, and I told him not to fret. Gobble, 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 get Not the main course at Hey, good morning, C. Cole. Mr. Cole here with some of our sixth grade friends. Who do we got with us today? I'm Maddie. Maddie? I'm Shaylin. I'm Janaira. Janaira, awesome. Good job. So our sixth grade AV club, they're doing some announcements. They're helping me out today. So today is Wednesday, November the 18th. It is a cycle day. Wait, what cycle day is it, girls? Day one. Day one. Awesome. I'm glad they know because I didn't know that one. So happy I brought them along. So before we start with the rest of our announcements, let's kick it over to Mr. Payne with Wednesday's weather forecast. Thanks, that was fantastic. Hey CE Cole, welcome to Thursday morning and here's your weather. You're waking up the temperatures in the 40s right now and we've been feeling some pretty cold conditions the last couple days, but today it's gonna to be a little different because temperatures are going to warm up into the mid 60s, even the upper 60s for our afternoon. And because we, one of the reasons, we have a front coming in. Now, sunny in the morning, but that front starts moving in late afternoon and that comes in the form of rain. Low-lying stratus clouds moving in, and then around 5, 6 o'clock, we'll be seeing some rain, probably the heaviest, coming between 7 and 9 o'clock this evening. And then temperatures will dip back down tonight into the 50s. Our question today coming from fourth grader Mariana Martinez, and she asks Mr. Payne, what's the largest desert in the world? Now, when we think about deserts, we think about dry conditions. We think about sand. We think about camels. We think about cactuses. But the largest desert in the world has none of those things. The largest desert in the world is at the South Pole, in the continent, Antarctica. Antarctica is a desert because it doesn't have any vegetation whatsoever. There's no trees or bushes or anything like that. Animals, well, not many to speak of, unless you want to talk about just penguins, and the fish in the sea. Now, also, the other thing is a very dry, arid conditions in Antarctica. We think it might be snowing all the time because when we see pictures of Antarctica, all we see is ice and snow. But the only reason that there is pictures like that is because it's just so cold. That snow has been around for tens of thousands and even millions of years. So, the precipitation in Antarctica is very small. We're only talking about a couple millimeters, like that much snow per year. So it snows more here in Redding and Muhlenberg than it does in Antarctica. And that's some of the reasons that makes Antarctica a desert. And it is the largest desert in the world. Mariana, thanks for that awesome question. See you, Cole. Have a great Thursday. Back to you. All right, thanks for that awesome weather report, Mr. Payne. So before we get going on, we got a couple special announcements. Janai, what are you going to start us off with? Fourth grade clubs, fifth grade chorus, and sixth grade band. All at... 2.30 today. So make sure you guys are on time so we get the most out of that time. So fifth grade, fourth grade, enjoy your clubs. Fifth grade, make sure you get down to your chorus rehearsals on time. And sixth grade, make sure you bring your instruments for your band rehearsals. So a couple of things. I know Nevea and Yadrian did a great job yesterday. Reminders, in the cafeteria, make sure you are cleaning up your trays and your areas after yourself. You're not getting up unless you ask a staff member. You are Keeping the area nice, you're just walking in there. You're not getting up and out of your seat unless there is an absolute need to and you got permission from a staff member. So that also goes in the hallways. Make sure you're walking quietly and silently um, because class is in session even if you're going to lunch or coming back in from recess. So be respectful in regards to that. So a couple important things that happened on uh, today's date in history. Two big ones. So we're going to share one really important date in history and then share some of the national days of what happens on November 18th. So, 
1928, Walt Disney releases the animated film Steamboat Willie. And Steamboat Willie was the first film to feature, you guessed it, Mickey Mouse. So, because of that, today's National Days is known as Mickey Mouse's birthday, which Mickey Mouse today turns 93. He doesn't look a day over three. So, uh, it's Mickey Mouse Day. It is also Princess Day, so that is why I look so lovely today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Look, look, you, it's fun. Uh, all right. It was an okay joke, I guess. Um, it is also European Antibiotic Awareness Day. And I'm going to try and say this word. I know it's a French word. I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say it the right way. But it's Vichy Soir Day. And I don't know what that is. It looks like a pudding or something like that. So I'm getting applause from around here. So I think all of our French experts said I did a good job. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So boys and girls, that's just some important things that happen on today's date. Remember, every day, come in, do your best, work hard, listen to your teachers, and represent yourself in a way that we all know how. So, with, uh, I guess, your announcements today, Sixth Grade EV Club friends, Mr. K, signing out. Bye.